I moved to Yellowknife on April 1st, 1979, and I remember uh, uh, there was still staff housing in those days, so my family, uh, we got moved into the Yellowknife Inn, and we stayed at the Yellowknife Inn for two months, and it was just at the time of the transition between uh, Stu Hodgson and John Parker, and Stu Hodgson was just in the process of leaving, and he had quite a reputation of uh, getting things done. If anything needed to be fixed, or if you needed a new school, you just had to ask him, and he could just make it happen with the uh, snap of his fingers. And John Parker uh, was uh, more, uh, because of his background, he was a former mayor of uh, of uh, Yellowknife, and he had quite a history in the private sector. He was much more of a, a management uh, type, more, and he was more. Uh, his focus was more to move towards more of a territorial style government. So, uh, a lot of it, he made sure a lot of the responsibilities uh, were transferred from the commissioner to to the elected uh, politician. So, I was discussing it uh, with my brother who is the Member of Parliament for the Northwest Territories. And uh, I think that uh, early on, uh, uh, and I tell a story about my, my dad, our dad didn't like uh, politicians very much. So whenever they came around every four years, he usually wound up chasing them away, especially the federal politicians. I really got involved in community uh, uh, organizations, and I was quite involved with sports organizations. and. Uh, I think then I realized that uh, if you wanted to get something done, a lot of times you had to go in there and and do it yourself. And uh, so I remember over the years in a 29 year career with the government of Northwest Territories, uh, I would talk a lot about, well, I was gonna run for politics, but I never did and for a long time. People were asking me to run and then uh, it wasn't until I was close to uh, uh, retirement age that I started thinking more seriously of it and then uh, I thought well maybe uh, by that time my brother had already uh, won the, the seat in Fort Providence my hometown so then I was thinking well if I run I'd have to run in Yellowknife and uh, so I ran in Yellowknife South and uh, uh, I still remember the first day I decided to run I had to uh, my uh, leave without pay was approved then I had to turn in my my office keys. I had to turn in my cell phone, and I couldn't talk to any of my colleagues because uh, I was running an election. <laughs> well, you know, I've, a large part of my career was being involved as uh, negotiations of devolution. I was involved with the a transfer of the Frobisher Bay Hospital from the federal government. I was involved with the uh, transfer of forestry, firefighting, quite a number of. Uh, programs including the research, uh, Arctic Research Centers and uh, most recently land and uh, resources so I'm very proud of that uh, and uh, I think the uh, physical thing that I guess I'm most proud of although I, I was more involved towards the end where we finished the construction of the De Cho Bridge and uh, to be involved with the official opening and uh, uh, I was uh, kind of sad because uh, my dad, my mom and dad, uh, who grew up and spent all their lives in Fort Providence, and my dad never was never outside of the Northwest Territories in his life, and he uh, never thought there'd be a bridge across the Mackenzie River. He always said, "Well, the bridge is too wide, the river is too strong. There'll never be a bridge." And and here we have a bridge. I wanted the North to continue to be a very good place to live and work in and uh, to have a sustainable economy and uh, I thought I could try to do my part and one of the I thought one of the ways I could do it was become part of the get into politics and, and try to influence the way things are going in, in the Northwest Territories so I still think uh, the Northwest Territories is the best place to live and uh, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm still here and I, I'm hoping my grandsons, uh, uh, whatever they do, that they come back and live and work here as well. If anything, uh, I would like to be remembered as uh, a, a premier that got something done. And uh, I think that uh, in the two years that I've been here, we've accomplished a lot in devolution, uh, some very significant 
infrastructure and, uh, and I think that uh, we've set uh, the north in the, to be well positioned to, to provide for uh, sustainable development and to, uh, to continue to make it a good place to live, work and invest in.